Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk about the interactions between void and the mass in a conceptual mass in Revit. So I'm going to open a new file. It's going to be architectural template. I'm going to check the units. Maybe I can change it to meters with three decimal places. That's good, all good. And I want the two views to be side by side. So uh, let's start by creating a mass here, massing and site, I want to go to conceptual mass, which is here in place mass. Okay, this is going to be mass one. And I'm going to start by a simple uh, rectangle here. Let's say maybe it's 25 by like 40. So that depends on how much space you have and the requirements of the project. I'm going to keep it simple for now and I'm going to create a form. Finish mass. Now I want to open one of the elevations so it's going to allow me to create more levels. So uh, how about I select all instances in the project for all the levels and I want to go with maximize 3D extents. Now it's better or you can just move this out manually. Uh, I want to create more levels. I'm going to type LL double L and how about I go with four meters for the first two levels and the rest of them maybe are going to be 3.8 meters apart. So I'm going to go with like 10 levels or so and this is limited to how much uh, you are allowed to go higher so that depends on the zone okay so let's say it's good I can close this I want to grab this and move it all the way up here if it doesn't snap you can go to uh, one of the elevations and you can adjust it here so the floors are going to go from level 0 to level 10. Level 11 is going to be the roof. Okay. Now, I want to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I want to create a void around here. So how about I go here. I want to go to edit in place. And I have my first level here. There we go. Now I want to draw maybe an ellipse. Uh, let's go here, click one. So this is our active view now. Going from here, I'm thinking maybe about uh, 10, 12 meters. And on this side, maybe about, about six meters. This is good. Or uh, you can make it different. I want to go to wireframe for a second. How about I change this 10 to like 15 or 20? There we go. Okay. I like this and I can change this 6 to like 8. Okay, I want to grab this uh, ellipse here and I want to create a void this time. Okay, and uh, you can either manually assign a value or just move this up. Right, and I want this void to actually be a little bit tilted so I want to hit tab so I can select the void again. If I go with x-ray it's going to give me the edges and the points I want to grab that point so let's keep hitting tab 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 finally it's here now I can grab that point and move it further inside right so it's going to be a little bit more interesting and now I can finish the mass and now you see now it's updated so now each of these uh, actually floors are gonna have a little bit of a different of a plan and now let me try something else I want to go with edit in place I want to hit tab here to select the void again and I want to see I want to turn off x-ray and grab this edge at the top and I want to move it down and see how it's going to look like like this.
right? So maybe you are looking for something like this, so there is just a void inside, or it goes all the way to the top. Um, I like it better this way, so I just want to grab this uh, surface at the top. You can hit tab to grab it, and I want to move it. If it doesn't snap here, uh, you can go to one of the elevations. I want to go to my east elevation, looking from east to west. And I want to move this down. So let's see if it's going to snap when it gets to my level 10. Or maybe I can go a little bit lower than this level. So actually, uh, the void is going to end right below level 10. Okay, now this seems good. Uh, another thing I want to do is that I want to consider a little bit of a space down here. So it's going to be my entrance. So let's go here. I want to um, create one more void and you can see how two voids can work together. So I want to create a rectangle from this point to here. And uh, if I hit tab for this edge you see it's 16 I'm gonna leave it I wanna um, hit tab to select the rectangle and create a void form here now it's going up by 8 meters which is two levels that's good I wanna do that uh, and I want to move this back surface um, back a little bit more so how about I go with 22 here or maybe 23. You can also try 22 and a half. So now it's better. So it's gonna give me a better entrance here, and then there's a void uh, and an interesting uh, volume here. I'm gonna finish this mass. I'm gonna close these windows. Uh, this seems good. Now let's say maybe this is our volume, and uh, we are happy with it. I want to select it. You can, of course, go with mass floors from level 1 to level 10. Level 11 is going to be the roof, so now this is good. So it's going to be something like this, which is good. Next thing I want to do is that I want to take care of uh, the walls. So let's say maybe this side is going to be concrete, this part. So I want to go to architecture wall by face. I want to go with a concrete wall. We have a retaining concrete. You can duplicate it and I want to name this as exterior concrete wall 300. I'm going to leave the rest as it is. That is all good. And I want to click here once. So now this is this part, a concrete wall. The rest of them I want to go with like a storefront. I can click here click here, click over there. I can also click on this uh, void object that I created down here. But see what happens when I click on this edge, the curved edge. It's going to tell me that it cannot create a curtain wall because it's not compatible with the picked face. Okay, so we're going to try something else actually. Right. Well, what I'm going to do here is that I want to select the mass again, go to edit in place. I want to select this curved edge. And let me see if I can select this one at the same time. So I want to hold control. The two are selected. And how about I go with the wide surface? And I want to change this to more like a rectangular panel. We can work with the size and everything. Um, maybe I want it to be a little bit denser. So uh, I can assign, if I assign like 20 here, it's going to make it denser on the height. And if I change this to like 24 or something here, it's going to make it denser around the perimeter. Okay, so if it's too dense, you can reduce the density by reducing the U and V values. Maybe I want it to be like 18 or 16 here. And 
on the other side yeah that's that's about right that's good uh, and now if I finish mass uh, we actually see the pattern right but uh, if we want it to be more realistic we can still work on this so I'm gonna open a family so let's go to open family the family I'm interested in is curtain panel by pattern and you notice that I used the rectangle surface. So if I go here, open this, I want to work on some things here. For instance, uh, how about I put a point here so I can set a plane. I can set the plane to this point. So now it's a vertical plane. And now maybe I can draw a shape here. So it's going to be the profile. Uh, for the panel I can go with like uh, 100 millimeters or how about we uh, we go with 50 on this side and 50 on this side so it's gonna be 100 by 100 so it means that the diameter is 10 centimeters here this seems good to me so I want to select the edges hold control select the circle and I want to create a form and now you see that we actually have a form here, right? If I uh, select this, you see that we are uh, able to assign material. How about I assign aluminum to the edges? Or you can assign it later in the model. I want to create a new material, rename this as aluminum. And I want to go to my asset browser if I type aluminum here I'll go with this one close this in graphics so I want to make the color a bit darker so I can easily follow this okay uh, if I change this to shaded now you see that we have different material here okay this seems good to me actually I want to make a save as here save as family and I want to add my initials at the end curtain panel by pattern that's good I want to save this uh, yeah I want to override it actually and I want to load this into project so now nothing is changed yet I need to select this mass again go to edit in place now if I select this surface as well as this surface to the pattern I can assign the pattern that I created by going to a rectangle. You see this is the family with my initials at the end. This is the one that I just created. I want to select one of these two and let's see how it works. Okay, this seems interesting. You can also select them if you go to edit type. You see the material is actually glass, but the frame is going to be uh, the aluminium that we already assigned so this is all good I want to uh, finish the mass it seems good here okay so now you see that we actually created uh, a curtain system and a surface which was not uh, like a regular surface right now we can do other things too for instance uh, Maybe you want to be more consistent between this wall and this wall. I can select the curtain panel here and maybe I can change the vertical grid spacing to 2 meters. Uh, next, I would like to add the roof so we can go to roof by face. Select this, create roof. And finally, I would like to create floor by face. You see it's going to snap wherever we have the floor. So I want to draw... A window here and it's gonna know that uh, we have actually floors from this level to level 10 and I want to change this to some concrete floor all looks good create floor uh, if you want to avoid these conflicts you can actually grab these walls attach top face attach it to the roof so it's gonna stop right below the roof 